Hello everybody, this video is going to be all about the Chrome DevTools. Now there are DevTools in Firefox too, and they work fine, um, but this one we're going to talk about Chrome because the Chromes are a little bit more advanced. In order to pull up the Chrome DevTools, there's a few different ways. I like to just do Command Shift C, and it lets you pick the thing, but if you're, uh, I want to say it's Control Shift C on a PC, but I'm not 100%, but you can also right click and inspect. Once you're in inspection mode, you can see that down here is just the HTML, but you'll notice as I mouse over things, they're highlighted. You've got a um, nested list here, and I can mouse over things and highlight them. And just like that, you can also click this little thing right here and mouse over stuff on the page, and it will highlight it down below. You can click on it to select it. So let's, I clicked on the blue, that H1 um, with the ID of header 2. Over here on the right, you can see all the different styles. Uh, you can see the color is blue. You can see um, that is display block, whatever that means. Font size 2EM, whatever that means. We don't know that stuff yet. We'll get there. Um, but that's all the stuff that's applied to H1s in general. And then you have, it tells you where it came from. So it came from the header 2 uh, ID. And another cool thing is you can toggle these things on and off. So you'll notice when I toggle that off, it goes back to the green that we applied to all H1s in our CSS. So toggle on, toggle off. And I can toggle this off too, and it'll go back to black, which is the default. It's kind of cool that you can make those changes to see what they're going to be like. Note that any changes you make in here are only reflected in the browser. It doesn't actually change the CSS in the style sheet. So this lets you quickly change that. So you can also come here and like pick a different color. So if I wanted it to be pink or whatever, that way I can say, okay, I like that. I'll get this hex and copy it into my CSS. That's, that's another option that you have. And as I mentioned, I just want to reiterate anything crossed out like this means that it's overridden by another style. And we'll get into that later. That's that specificity that I mentioned in one of the previous videos. So this is super useful to be able to look at our own pages and see what's up. We can also look at other people's pages. So for example, I'll pull up the MDN docs md and web docs and command shift c and now i have all this and i can look at their documents so what if i say hey this is kind of cool i want to see how they did this little underline thing i could look at this h and over here on the side i can say okay well what's up text decoration underline well now that's being overridden by that so i wonder where the that little line down at the bottom is coming from hmm let's see let's see i'm betting it's a border no, border is zero, so there it is, border bottom, 2px solid. So if I toggle that off, you see the border goes away. Toggle it on, comes back. That's one way that you can um, use this inspector is to see other people's websites. And, and if you notice something cool and you don't know how they did it, all their tricks are right here. And that's pretty much it for now. We'll use these kind of extensively later, and you'll probably use them quite a bit in debugging and things like that. But for now, that's all there is to it. Thank you much. Have a good one.